I'm here at Premier Armor with Nick. How are you everybody. doing? All right. So Nick, I wanted to, uh, the car came out fantastic. I wanted you to just kind of walk us through what you did here with the PPF. Uh, I, obviously I got the car fully PPF. So if you could just walk us through real, uh, real quick, Nick, that would be awesome. Yeah, sure. So Alex brought in his GT350R for a full Expel Ultimate Plus uh, paint protection film wrap. So essentially it looks absolutely the same, which is the point of the product. It is a clear protective film designed to protect against rock chips and scratches. And uh, typically people opt for doing the entire front end or in Alex's case, where they really love the car, they really want to protect the value of the car, they went with a full wrap. So I'm gonna walk you through exactly what we did on this vehicle. Uh, Alex has some factory stripes on here. So what we did was uh, we covered those with a stealth finish clear bra. And then it's a little trickier than most stealth wraps uh, because it actually had a gloss pinstripe going across it. So we actually cut out thin slivers of clear glossy Expel Ultimate Plus to protect that and butt seamed everything together. So his whole front bumper has been protected. We actually smoked out the headlights and fog lights using Expel smoke film. This is their medium tint, which is about a 35%. It gives it a nice aggressive look to the car. As far as the bumper goes, all of the blue painted portions are protected on there. Uh, as I said earlier, the matte stripes are protected as well as the gloss pinstripe on it. Uh, black plastic is textured. So unfortunately, that's the only part that we can't protect uh, simply because the film will stick to it and it'll allow moisture and dirt to build up in there and slowly peel away. So uh, that being said, it was also designed to be very inexpensive to replace with the exception of this bottom chin spoiler, which is about $2,000. Um, not really a whole lot that you can do about that. They do sell a carbon fiber lip online that I've seen myself. I was considering to buy. That comes with a carbon fiber finish with a gloss clear over the top of it. If you guys opt to get that, we're able to protect it. Uh, it looks nice, um, but again, it's an added expense. This car didn't have it, so there was no need to do it. Uh, we did the whole car, and I'll take you step by step as to what we do that's a little different from other shops. So uh, a lot of other shops, they won't take your vehicle apart in order to hide edges. We, uh, we actually have a disassembler come in, take apart everything that we ask them to on the vehicle, and I'll walk you through on what we had them remove. So this grate right here, that's fairly simple. It's one bolt that holds it in. We pop that out so that way we can hide the edge of the film on the hood, make it as invisible as possible. Then we move over to the fenders, we actually removed the GT350 badge and this flare as well, uh, the vent for the uh, fender. We wrap underneath there so that you don't have any unsightly edges from the clear bra showing and collecting dirt. We wrap into the wheel wear well area, engine bay, and where the door meets the fender. And then we also do the same for the door. We wrap the front of the door so that way you don't have an edge here that collects dirt over time. The mirrors are removed. The door handles are removed. Same purpose, we don't want any exposed edges. We reinstall these, we protect the mirror cap as well as the door handle. The full rocker panel down below has been protected as well. Alex got this clever little rubber stopper here. I like it. I actually, I'm gonna get a set for myself even though I already have a clear bra. But we removed it. We actually wrapped to the very front of the rocker panel right here. So a little minuscule piece of uh, plastic, but we're OCD and we wrap that anyway just because we want it protected. I'm a GT500 owner myself, so I, I know these cars intimately and I know exactly where it gets chewed up. Um, so the rocker panel has been fully covered. The quarter panel, uh, we actually removed this window molding here so that way we can wrap the film inside. We wrap into the A-pillar. Uh, and then I'm going to move on to the windshield. That was actually also protected with the uh, Clearplex. That's a uh, polyester film specifically designed to be optically clear and to protect the windshield from chips. Great product, works really well, especially if you're going to take your car on the track. Uh, we move over to the roof. 
the uh, shark fin antenna is actually removed. We install the film, trim around the opening, reinstall the fin. So that way you don't get any edges exposed there. We wrap the front and the back of the, uh, I should say the front and the back of the roof. Make sure it's all clean. There's no edges exposed. Obviously, I already told you about the window molding. There's no, there's no edge whatsoever around the molding itself. We wrap it into the front where the door meets the quarter panel, into the wheel well as well. All of the edges of the doors are protected too. Those are wrapped. And then finally, gas caps are removed. So that way we can wrap inside the gas area. The door is reinstalled with clear bra on it as well. Then we move on to the spoiler. We remove it, install the film on the trunklet so there's no exposed edges as well. Reinstall that, and then we protect the spoiler with film as well. Uh, and then moving back to the rear bumper, this is fully protected as well. Same principle, we butt seam all the film against it with the Ultimate Plus and then the Stealth. And then obviously the rear deck lid is done. Now this one's a very tricky part to do in particular because if you look closely, it has these recessed ridges right here. So that's a super gnarly area in order to film to stick. We actually hand trim it right in the area right there so that we can tuck it and get a very seamless finish. Other shops are just gonna cut around it. And what ends up happening is you get another area where dirt wants to build up and you can see it. The way that we did it ensures that you don't get any kind of visible edge whatsoever. It's a nice clean finish. Uh, and that's just what we're all about. Details over everything, quality over everything. Uh, so that's pretty much all I have to say about uh, Alex's GT350R. Um, based on his smile, I'm sure he's pretty <laughs> happy with it. Uh, and I'm glad he came to us. Yeah. So right. Nick, share, share with us one last thing. I hope the viewers can see it online. Mm -hmm. Or not online, but on, on YouTube. But this, I mean, the shine is ridiculous on this. So, oh yeah, absolutely. So my question, which I was pleased to hear the answer is, how long will that shine last with this with this PPM? So the warranty is for 10 years, parts and labor nationwide. With proper care, this shine will stay this way for the full 10 years. Uh, just like anything else, it's susceptible to wear and tear. Uh, but because of the silicone top coat on this PPF, uh, most of the time what would scratch paint only causes a temporary scratch on the clear bra. And the reason why is because instead of scratching it, you're actually causing an indentation in the film. And because it's a malleable surface, a hot cup of water or a hot sunny day will actually cause those molecules to suck back to their original state, uh, leaving a nice clean finish behind. And with proper care and maintenance, yes, absolutely, this shine will stay for many years to come. Awesome. All right, everybody, where you see the car, you see the, the awesome work. And if you guys want to get more information on this uh, amazing job that uh, was done by Premier Armor, uh, talk to Nick. Uh, Nick is the owner here. So Premier Armor in Corona, California. And if any of you guys are close to Southern California or don't mind driving to get some quality work, there it is, everybody. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Nick. See you guys.